Alrighty. So, uh... Somebody the other day in one of my YouTube videos commented and asked, how do I make a weapon use a different type of weapons move set? So, for example, how do I make a dagger use the rapier or straight sword um, move set? The easiest way to do that is going to be through param editing. Um, so if you want to follow along and do that, you will just need two programs effectively, UXM to unpack Dark Souls 3 and Param Studio or Yapt. Either of those things will work. So assuming you've unpacked Dark Souls 3, you will just want to go ahead and run DS Param Studio or Yapt. DS Param Studio, if you have any issues, the download site literally has troubleshooting options and all sorts of stuff for that. But you can always hit me up if for some reason you're encountering an issue. If you've never run it before, you will need to start a new project. It's very simple. File, new project, give it a name, give it a directory. Your directory will more than likely be your mod folder in your game directory. Uh, and then your game executa executable blah, 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 uh, should be pretty straightforward. So that's your that's your game executable. I don't, I don't know what else to say to you if that's too complicated. Um, you'll also have two other options here for doing this. You'll have use loose params and default row names. Might as well click both when you go to create it. I'm not going to click create because I already have that set up in the back there, so I'm not going to worry about it. Um, assuming you did that, you'll just want to go right on down to equip param weapon there. And uh, like we were saying in our earlier conversation here, so you wanted to make the dagger behave like a straight sword or a rapier or something. You would just go ahead, scroll down, and find the dagger. Go right on over here to the right side where you got a lot of information options things here. Most of these things are going to be spelled out for you. I mean, it's it's fairly intuitive here. You've got the name, IDs, you've got weapon category, moveset category, moveset attributes, the sword art, which is actually just the weapon art in general, their abilities, you've got required strength, dexterity, intelligence, scaling, um, different damage types, all that kind of stuff is all right in here. If you wanted to scroll down, you can change its guard. You can enable its ability to cast pyromancies if you wanted to. Um, yeah, um, change its feet position on your body through these numbers right here. A uh, lot of fun little things like that. You can, you can click through, take a look at poise damage, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, but in response to the comment on my video asking how to make a weapon move and operate like with a different move set or something it's it's easy you click on whatever the weapon is go over the right here and then you can just go ahead and click on weapon move set category just right click on that and now we want the dagger to move and operate like a katana boom there you go it's uh uh, gonna swing around like a katana now. You just want to go over, click file, save. That's gonna save that change that you just made. It's gonna push it into your mod folder if that's the directory that you have set up for it. Um, if you have your mod folder set up correctly and it's actually loading your loose parameters and stuff like that, like it should be, um, that change should be felt effectively immediately when you go into the game and use a dagger. The moveset will now be different um so yeah i mean hopefully that was helpful for somebody out there i just saw it was a comment and uh somebody was asking so I figured i might as well just make a video to kind of walk somebody through that and uh kind of just say that i'll try to do some little sort of mini series with ram editing and uh just very simple little things like that if you've got questions or things that would you in your mind seem like they could maybe be answered pretty effectively or quickly uh just comment and ask and if i uh have the time and ability to i will uh, 
make a video on it. If I don't think that something's in my wheelhouse, I will uh, try and direct you on finding somebody to help you out, or I will just straight up tell you, I don't know how to do that either, bud. So uh, that's going to kind of be it for me on this one. Uh, if you want to continue to hang out on the channel, please do. When Elden Ring comes out, I'm going to try and cover as much uh, stuff on that as I basically can and uh, maybe post a playthrough or my first experiences on it. Um, so with that being said, hope you guys have a great day and uh, continue to find these guides helpful. Take care.